we starting off the vlog in the Chicano culture room. Apparently we have Chicano paintings all over this room. We are at UT Austin. I didn't even give y'all an intro. We're at UT Austin. We're in the Texas Union room. I'm um, just walking around. Today's Friday. This is my first day. I didn't even plan on vlogging today, but you know, I just happened to stumble upon this place. So y'all enjoy the view. Look at that nice painting. It's kind of sus, but that painting looks kind of fire. They got some different Chicano people. I'm gonna show y'all around the black culture room because obviously it's Black History Month, so we need to know about that too. I'll see you on the next clip. We are in uh, the Union's graphics lab, and it's kind of lame. Like, they only got two Apple computers, some stuff here. Like, it's a very small room. They don't even got some nice edition printers, so I don't know. Y'all gotta step up. AM is better right now, in my opinion. We are currently outside the Asian culture room. Compared to the Chicano culture room, like this room got nothing. Like, just look at this. They got nothing compared to the Chicano culture room. They got nothing compared to the Chicano culture room, but I guess that's what UC Austin's about. Let's go to the black people room. I'm ready for the black people. So I'm in the I'm in the black people culture room on this floor. And they don't have lights in this room for some reason. I was looking around and they don't have lights in this room at all. There's no lights, but they do have like some paintings of some, yeah, some black people uh, kind of camouflaging. That's got to be racist. There's no way. Uh, just black people, black people, uh, something, black people. And then we have this painting right here. And then let me see. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Yep, and this painting right there. I don't know why they don't have lights. <sighs> hmm. Probably, yeah, they probably just thought this room wasn't worth it or something, but I guess we're off to the next room. Why is their elevator space so small? I can't even do I'm currently going down to their basement floor, which is where they have all their activities. These stairs are kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. That's one thing y'all do got over AM. Them stairs kind of nice, but I'm gonna see how this basement game room was looking like. Kind of scary. They got bowling, billiards, air hockey, foosball, snacks, and drinks. Oh, they got the I know y'all just saw the game room in the last clip. I don't think A&M can compare to that game room right there. They got like 10 pool tables, three air hockey tables, a bowling alley, like 10 bowling lanes that you can rent out, a real bowling alley, real bowling, bowl with real balls. Okay, okay, we got a real bowling alley. And then you just walk in, but like you have to get all the materials from the front to desk. It's like, it's lit. Like, where's a and a and doesn't even have this. I think even UH has it. Like, even UH has bowling alleys. Like, where's our bowling alley? Kind of mad. Second day in Austin, UT Austin. We're going into the library right now to see how good it is. Is it better than A&M's one or not? Um, yeah, we're about to see. I think it has like one, two, three, four, five, six floors, which is similar to A&M. We're just going to be walking around. Don't forget to drop a subscription. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Yeah, subscribe, like the subscribe, like the like the video, and we'll see y'all inside the library. Well, but um, A and M is like way better than UT anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, just enjoy the <laughs> cap. And um, yeah, so this uh, this UT for you kind of boring and dry and stuff, but it is what it is. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, <laughs> this motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That a and M is better. A and M is better. What is good, everybody? This is our last and final day 
in Austin. Last our final day, last and final day in Austin. I'm just gonna be probably showing y'all around, maybe some other places on my visit. But thank y'all for making this far in the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and comment down below things you didn't know about UT Austin. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I thought these turtles were fake, but this turtle right here, this turtle right here keeps on moving. So I'm not sure if these are fake or not. I wonder if it's like a robotic turtle or something. But like that turtle moved. Like you might not see it now, but like that turtle was moving like two seconds ago. Bro, why are you acting dumb for? Oh my goodness. See this one? Oh yes, it's moving. Told you. Told you it moves. But why are they standing still? Are those are three of those fake and one of them real? Like. And then we have this buffoon right here just Oh, you know, I'm tired of y'all. We are currently about to enter Almetris Duran Residence Hall. Interesting dorm. Let's infiltrate the campus real quick. We have currently infiltrated the enemy's living quarters and we're gonna be I'm gonna be giving y'all a private tour of how the residence halls are looking like. It's looking like they're better than my they're better than my hall for sure. Like for sure they're ten this is ten times better than my dorm. Look at the floors. Look at the floors. My floor is carpet. This floor is like marble tiled. They got like I'm only on the first floor. I haven't even visited everything. They got like some advanced advanced fountains. Like what is this? Filtered water? Filtered water A and M could never. Like and they got cups and everything. Like this is just just watch the video. This is gonna be crazy. Oh my goodness! Look how advanced their vending machine is. Oh my goodness! Electronic vending machine. I've never seen this before. Oh my goodness, this is an electronic vending machine. Bevo Bucks? Oh my goodness, electronic? Their residence hall has a lounge area. This looks like a president's lounge area. They actually have a lounge area with a piano in their residence hall. This is not no like facility, this is just a residence hall where freshmen stay in. And they actually have all this stuff in their hall, that's crazy. I'm currently in the dorm area in this hall. And their dorms are crazy. The floors, the area just smells good. Like it's like it's like a it's like amazing here. Their dorms have elevators. Their dorms have elevators. What is this? They got they got elevators. They got big rooms. They got big lounges. They got advanced advanced vending machines. Y'all deserve to pay 2K for your residence residency. No wonder. No wonder when I heard 2k or something per month, I was like, 2k? Yeah, y'all deserve to pay how much ever that is. Because all this stuff y'all have, you should, you should be paying all the, you should be, you should be paying. That's what I hope y'all enjoyed that little dorm tour video. Like, I went crazy in that dorm. I was doing 360s on their ceilings and everything. Like, I was dunking on them walls. Like, I was going crazy. They, they had six floors in their dorm, by the way. And they had a basement floor, which is way more than any dorm on the campus has. They had a basement floor. And they had big laundry rooms. Like, everything was just big. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Boss. Everything was just big, huge, like massive. Yeah, that, um, hope y'all just hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see y'all my next one.